Okay, Richard. So yeah, you were obviously pleased with the the, the crowd response on on Tuesday, and it's an, another big one for both the team and the, and the fans on on Saturday. Yeah, it is. I mean, look, people. Um, I, I I don't know. I I I honestly think people don't know me at all, really. Um, my public persona, I think, is nothing like I am in private. Um, and that's because I just keep asking everyone for more. Um, and I'm honest. And I try and tell people the truth. Um, but it's only ever done in a way to, to, uh, to try and get the best for the people that I work for. Um, and on Tuesday night, for the first time, I think, since I've been at this football club and probably since I've been in this league, if I'm honest, um, I saw a proper club begin to develop in the way that I think it should work. Because, you know, I think if you see a group of players given everything they've got, they deserve your support no matter what the result. And um, I think they have that here at this moment in time. And I think if we continue to work together in the same way as we did on Tuesday night, then I think we can have a really exciting last part of the season. And hopefully we can, um, you know, begin to achieve our, our ambitions. Well, see, that was one of those games where on another day it might have been four, four or five one. I mean, this, this Saturday you produced an excellent performance at Grimsby. I mean, does it being a two-legged tie changed the thinking or...? Well, no, I don't think so. I think you just got to try and win both games. Um, I mean, your question implies that we weren't very good against Grimsby, and that's not true either. Um, you know, we conceded two poor goals, and it was it was a shock to lose the first home game, and it was almost as though everyone in the stadium thought, well, this shouldn't be happening, um, because we, we did enough in the game, actually, to get at least a draw. Um, so, no, I think you've got to try and win both games. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Um, and I think they'll do exactly the same. I think both teams will know that they can beat each other. Um, it's probably the, it's probably the semi-final that we didn't want. Either team didn't want. Um, but um, I'm, su I'm sure all the um, romantics out there will think that the, the semi-final draw has turned out exactly the way they want it because now they have at least a minnow in the final, if I, if I should say that. Um, and um, it means that we've got two very tough cup semi-finals against a very good team. I see the grooms, the, the away, I was thinking of the away game, because that was a, a, sort of a, a game that epitomised that, that, that sort of run you were on, where it was an excellent defensive display, yeah, but, but ruthless. Sort of yeah, but I think, I think, you know, who knows what position we're going to be in in a week's time. Hmm. You know, we want to be in a good position. Um, but we might not be. Um, as I've already said, both teams will fancy themselves. Um, you might make them slight favourites. They're, they're probably their results are a little bit better than ours in recent weeks, um, and they've got the second leg at home, which maybe tips it in their balance a little bit more. Um, but it's really a 50-50 game. I think 50-50 cup tie, and I think they'll feel the same. They'll be confident. We're confident. Um, and it should make for two really exciting games. And uh, squad-wise, this week a, a boost. Obviously, with, with, with Coulson signing a contract, that um, must be you know a, a good piece of news for you. So. Well, it's important. Um, he's had a really good um, first half of the season. Um, responded really well to the summer activities, and um, you know he, everyone knows he's a Cambridge boy and Cambridge through and through, and wants to stay. Wants to wants to try and get this football club into into the football league and back into the Football League and I think epitomises everything we said about Tuesday night um, and another reason for you know the support to be as we want it. Um, we're trying to we're trying to secure one or two more. We think that we've we think that we developed a really good nucleus last summer. Uh, a number of them are already under contract for next year but we want to get one or two more tied down and, and leave the summer summer activity a lot less than what it was last year no matter which division we play in next season um, so that is good news um, not so good news is that we we look as though we've come out of two United's game got beat up a little bit mm. um, look I, I, I'm full of admiration for, for Alfreton and the manager and 
I think uh, they've come here on Tuesday night and put their bodies on the line to come away with three points but it was a very aggressive game um, and um, you know we've got some players in the team that move the ball quickly at the minute and uh, that leaves them a little bit wide open to one or two challenges so obviously Miller came off we won't know the extent of that um, Dunks was the victim of a very very naughty challenge by Bradley um, and uh, his knee is swollen up yesterday and that looks ominous so we need to find out what that is today um, and, the, and the injuries that we had going into the game um, are still not 100% where we'd like them to be um, so we could be a little bit stretched for numbers but not quality at the weekend